Right, guys, have a look at them. Cause they. Oh wait, I've got. A... Assalamu alaikum. Hello and welcome back to LK Vlogs. Today's vlog, we're outside, and you know what? It's absolutely lovely today. Mosam valle garmi hai, tub sekne viya, enka live viya, tension hone pe viya, the naal bethe viya. Khatte par aaj rang prangi khatte. Inshallah aaj thora maza kar sa, aaj just naal vlog ek aur bana sa, cooking thori kar sa, and also happy Independence Day to Pakistan and India, because this video will be releasing on one of the days a bit closer to the Independence Day. So hopefully you guys will love it today and we will go to the kitchen. Let's go. And we're back in the kitchen guys and today like I said I'm gonna make some mitted javel. So the first thing I need to do is I need to put the rice on the on the stove and get that uh, boiling away. So let's start cooking some of the rice. So in here we've got I think about a cup, cup and a half worth of rice. So if you have a quick look at that I'm just gonna get some water and we're gonna add that on there. So we'll just pour enough water so our rice are covered. So I think that should be sufficient. So if you have a look in there, we've got we've got some water in there, and we're gonna put the heat up on the on the cooker and let's get that boiling. With the rice, we want to cook them probably about 60 or 70 percent of the way uh, because we're gonna cook them later on as well as as they, we mix the coloring and as we mix some of the. Uh, well, the, the fruits and nuts that we're going to put in there as well to make sure it's all sweet and all tasty as well for you guys. So we'll catch up in a moment. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I think I've seen my mom do it a couple of times. So inshallah, again, your brother needs his was. Um, let's hope that I don't set fire to the kitchen once more. If you've seen the rookie video, we saw how bad that came out. Let's give it a go though. So for the sugar syrup, what I need to do is we need to either get some butter or oil or something normally and we need to put that into the pan so as long as we can get the base of it covered which we looks like we've uh, done that so let's have a quick look at that cover everything around in there i think that looks okay for you guys so what we'll do is we'll put the heat up on that just a bit and firstly we need to start by getting some flavor out of our cardamom so like you guys, make sure you don't buy these because they leave an awful taste in your mouth uncooked. Even when you get them like any food and very honey, they taste awful. They only are supposed to add flavour. So please don't buy it because it will ruin your day. So we'll put some of those in and we'll let them cook inside there. I've got a few more which I just need to put inside there for flavour. And all we need to do is give it a quick stir. And if my mum is looking at this wooden spoon, nobody show it because yeah, I think if I mess up, right, she might just give me a backhander with one of these, so be careful of showing her that. So guys, um, I'm looking a bit concerned right now. Um, look at the amount of sugar I need for this uh, rice dish I'm making. That is why it was happening to get diabetes. But then again, that's why we have the most tastiest food as well, because we sweeten up everything with this amount of sugar. Um, for the uh, syrup, we're going to need about probably ha half that amount. We might use it, the rest of it a bit later on. So we'll add some of this in and we'll just see what happens with that. So we'll pour that in about that much and we'll leave the remainder. We'll give it a quick stir and we'll let that mix with the sugar. So as you guys can see, uh, that will just all melt nicely in there and dissolve and what will happen is we'll get a beautiful syrup forming that we can sweeten up our rice with. Oh my god guys, if you could just smell this right now, it is so delicious. So we'll keep that cooking in there. I'll just take my spoon out for a second and pop it to a side because the next step is we're gonna get you guys some fruit and nuts in there. So what we've got here is we've got copper, we've got badam, we've got raisins, we've got kaju and we've got pista. Uh, <laughs> I love saying that, it always sounds funny. Um, in English, that's we've got some coconut, we've got some almonds, we've got some raisins, we've got some cashew nuts, and we've got some pistachios in there as well. So we're gonna add all of this into this into the sugar syrup, so we can use this in our cooking. Let's go. I don't know if that counts towards your five days, guys, but it definitely is. Uh, Something healthy as part of the process because the sugar definitely wasn't and we'll give that a mix so it gets nicely coated with the syrup 
सो ए बंदे तक ने जो सारा कुछ उन मिक्स मिक्स किताब है ते चाशनी है बननी पे भी है नाल बादाम पिस्ता जे नाल सागी बाइसन ओ मिक्स सारा कुछ किताब है ते इंशाल्लाह थोड़ी देर बाद ए पकी जासी ते असा चावला नाल मिक्स करी कंसा आज पहली बारी मीठे चावल बनाने हैं तक ने वी सी हाउ एवरीथिंग गोस एंड होपफुली मम मम विल बी इंप्रेस आई बिलीव मम मम इज गोइंग टू मेक इन अ लाइक स्नैक क्लियर ऑन सो आई एम मेकिंग अ स्वीट डिश एंड शी इज मेकिंग समथिंग else uh, we'll come back later on as well in the evening we want everything's ready and we'll see what mom's made as well but in the meanwhile let's hope my cooking comes out very good right. bismillah rahman rahim guys we are nearly ready to start mixing our rice so if you have a look at this we've got our sugar syrup mixed with our fruits and that is shining smelling absolutely gorgeous and we're going to start mixing some rice in with that so what we need to do is we need to get our rice Uh, and uh, mix some of this in with there so we'll add some of that in so we'll go with two spoons probably out of time so we'll do that put that in there and we'll just give it a quick mix with our fruit and nuts that we've got inside and we'll turn the heat down just a bit just make sure that we've got everything cooking well in there and we'll just keep on adding our rice if you come a bit closer and have a quick look you can see that everything is beautifully mixed in there and cooking and the heat is up right now so we'll get some of that in there start mixing that up and i'm going to continue finishing this up because it's quite a bit of a long process and i'll join you guys once we are at the top of it Right folks so we've mixed up all the rice so if you have a look at that, the syrup the fruits and nuts so the chashni and the badam pista is everything is mixed in with the rice we'll smoothen that all up at the top and what we need to do is just keep a low heat and put our lid on for the next 10 12 minutes and once that's cooked we'll join us later so I'm starving and I'm hungry and I bet you guys are too let's have a look see how we're getting on with the rice way look at all that steam that comes out of that So what we need to do now is we've got some kevra water so it's like a really um fruity kind of smelling uh, infused water is this and it adds a lot of flavor to your rice uh you can normally use rose water as well or use this I I just found some supermarkets it was there in front of me so I've just got a hold of it and start with some of this one so we've got like only a small amount of it because you not want to use too much it is really strong we'll just throw that in there and mix that on top and you can hear that sizzle in there So we're on my favorite bit adding the color with it being independence day and I'm Pakistani we're going to go with a bit of green first I mean I've got my spoon here but with my toothpick I want to try something and try spell something out on the rice so we'll see how that works join me a minute when I'm done with it So if you guys have a quick look in there I've uh, I've spelled azadi on the on the rice so we've got azadi which means independence in uh, urdu so we put that on there we're going to add a bit of color on our rice we just keep the camera there what we'll do is we'll have a quick look so at the top of this we'll we'll just mix in our color and we just pour that in there and then we've got some of our other color which uh, I'm going to try to put in as well and this one's orange so we'll just pour that in and we've got a bit there as well so that'll mix in with the rice and we'll have a look at the chawal once they're mixed up fully and fully done decorated to finish off we've got some rasgulle which uh, I've picked up and some glazed cherries i think that's what they call them so we'll put some of these in as well and we'll make a little pan in the rice for you guys the azadi sign is a little bit mucked up but you know what it's all good as both countries should be it's uh, all mixed up full of culture full of fusion and that's what my dish is as well so we'll go with that we'll put uh, we'll put a couple more in there if we can get them in around the edges just see what we can do with that there we we'll put that there 
And if you guys come in close and have a quick look at this, we'll throw in some of our cherries. And we'll finish it off like that. So let's just spread it all out. Remember, at the end of all this, it's all going to get mixed up, so it doesn't matter too much for the moment. The final bit, the rice are now ready, so they've uh, cooked very well. And what we need to do is we just need to gently mix everything, so try not to break anything. Get your colour in there. And let's mix our rice up. So if you have a look in the pot, you'll see the colour is starting to mix. And we're just going to plate this up. So we'll put it in a dish. I'll probably do one of this uh, because I don't want to spill it. But just pop it in the tray. So if you have a look here and just gently spread it all out. And we'll get some more in there. And then you guys will join me in the garden very shortly and we'll enjoy the food. So I wanted some food and basically as a light snack, I thought, you know what, mom's going to make something. It'll probably be like spring or something. She's gone to a lot more effort. She's going to make gold go past station for me at home. Let me show you guys. Now, would you look at that? So we've got an absolutely massive stack of gold up here there. And then we've got the salad. As we have a look, we've got some aloo in there. We've got some chole, some chickpeas, onions. We've got tanya, everything mixed in there as well. We've got our imli sauce over here, we've got some green sauce there as well, we've got some chilies there and we've got some bundi here as well and some yogurt that we can put in as well, we can have a mix station. And let's not forget my mitet javel, take a look at them, uh, I don't know if the lighting will be great outside because it is quite sunny but I hope you guys enjoy. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, before we start eating let me just show you these uh, gold kape that my mom's just put together. OMG, they look so so tasty. Um, so, mom's put in everything, I think, a bit of everything on there. I'm going to give them a quick try out, and inshallah, uh, we'll let you guys know how they've come out. And let me get my Mamita Javel as well, because I'll do a taste test of them for you guys too. Right, guys, have a look at these gold guppy. If I tilt them too much, they're going to fall out of the plate. But let me just show you one of these. It's got absolutely everything in it, and it looks amazing. So, I'm going to give it the taste test. Let's have a go. And Bismillah, before we start, You guys have to be here because these are amazing. I might think I'm a good chef, but my mom is the best. Amazing. I can keep going on these for ages now. Mm -hmm. Get right now, so I'll there to suck you for custom aloni. Best ever. Better than the stuff you can find in the shops or the restaurants. I'm telling you, homemade is the best way. So I hope you guys are enjoying today's vlog and you are enjoying some lovely food alongside me today. Next up, my mitay chawal. So bismillah again and we're going to go hands in and uh, we'll get some of that in there and we go. You know what? Tasty. Get the rasgulla as well. Got to get the sweet stuff in there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I always love sweet stuff and I've got a really bad sweet tooth. But the food is so tasty. And today, in the beautiful weather, I'm enjoying myself. And I really wish you guys could come and try the food because honestly, it's banging and spot on. So we'll go in with a bit more of the food here. So we'll get some of the copper if we can. We'll pick up a cherry as well. Get some of the rice in there with it. And uh, in proper desi fashion, like this. Right guys, so we're wrapping up that vlog today because uh, I want to finish the rest of my food. And I hope you guys, uh, uh, we will do there for you guys. So, you know, we got a bit of Urdu as well. Uh, inshallah, you know, um, we'll keep coming back each week with more vlogs. But today, uh, I had a lot of fun making it and I hope you guys really enjoy it. Uh, but yeah, until next time, Allah Hafiz, Hafiz, take care and uh, goodbye folks. <laughs>
one last message because I forget to always add it in every single video. Make sure to like, follow, and subscribe.